about the whole Great Hunt thing? Thanks. It'd mean a lot to Brayden that you stuck with it. Figure I ought to at least finish this for the old man. Thanks. I already said that, didn't I? Great Hunt was Brayden's dream. Talked about it for years. The day he told me he'd found you. Should have seen him. Grinning and laughing so much, I thought his face would split in half. It's not every day you get a shot at the Great Hunt. Winning this thing? It would have meant more to him than revenge. So I'm gonna skip saying thank you again because you get the idea already. Let's just get moving. So this is pretty priceless. There's a ton of buzz on the net about someone breaking into Father's place. Father has been throwing credits around to find out who did it. No takers. Nemro's paying them to keep quiet. He's having way too much fun watching Father suffer. Nice to be able to keep tabs on things. You know, Brayden used to say I was unique for having this holonet link. But I have no clue how I got it. I've had this implant forever. Parents must have had me teched out as a baby. Who does that? Maybe they were thinking about your future. That's hard to imagine. The parents who abandoned me, thinking about my future. Raiden was always encouraging me to look for my past, and... I figured street kid from Nar Shaddaa, what's to know? Now, gotta admit he was right. Something weird there. Digging around might turn up something useful. Maybe I will. Thanks. Really, I appreciate it. Been poking around the hollow net, heard a few things that seemed suspicious. A Jedi, two Imperial colonels, and a hut came down with bad cases of dead within hours of each other. Had to be great hunt targets. Think they were Blood's targets? He ahead of me now? Too hard to say. Blood's not the only one we're up against. So, I looked up the manufacturer of my implant? Weird stuff. Exclusively government contractor. Everything on this model is classified. Guess your parents had plans for you. Maybe following in their footsteps? You think they were SIS? Whoever my parents were, they got their hands on one mother of a top-secret gadget. Don't know what that means yet, but I intend to find out. Remember Lord Daka? The Altakas announced his triumphant return home from harrowing captivity. He's already being asked to travel and talk about it. Guy's smart. Using this to make some credits. Guy's got business sense anyway. So, I've been wondering what kind of people put classified government doodads in their kids' heads. Figured there had to be something in the official records I could dig up. Don't suppose you found something worth some credits? I wish. Nothing came up in official channels. Means I probably wasn't born on the smuggler's moon. But I figure someone in arshadaz has got to remember them, right? Just have to keep asking. You must have some notion who they were. No, but I like to imagine they're smugglers, tragically shot down hauling a cargo of illegal gizkas. Been talking to some people. One of my contacts just had some guy in Arshada asking about me. Probably one of these in every spaceport. You should learn to let him down easy. Cute. Real cute. No, not anyone I know. My contact says the guy practically screams spook. He's asking about my whereabouts. Goes by the name of Carteri. The spook, not my contact. I think we have time to pay him a visit, don't you? Let's look him up. Find out who sent him. All right, then we have a plan. Coral. Well, this is a surprise. Never thought you'd just turn yourself in. Okay, first thing, my name's not Coral. Second, what are you talking about? Right, of course not. I suppose you're just here for a friendly chat then? Nobody's gotten shot yet. I think we can have a nice conversation, don't you? Right, I'm feeling the love. I can imagine what she's told you, Hunter, but you're being played. 
She's anything but a helpless little girl. Try answering a question or two. Who's Coral? Let's keep this short, shall we? I don't want anyone seeing us and reporting this. And I'm not stupid enough to draw on you. Here's everything I was given on my target. Take it and go. Data pad's encrypted. See if I can crack it later. This thing... she... really does look like me, huh? Better get to work on that data pad. Guess I have plenty to keep me busy for a while. We should get going. That new armor? I like it. Makes your arms look, uh, bigger. Not that they needed it. We've got work to do. Focus on that. Sometimes I forget that you were raised by Minox and never learned to carry a conversation. That guy, Carteri from Narshada, remember him? Doesn't exist. Figured he'd get in front of a blaster sooner or later. No, no, he's not dead. N not as far as I know, anyway. I can't find out anything about him. Nothing. You already thought he was SIS. Yeah, but he was such a wimp, I sort of threw that theory out. You know what's weird? The more I look at that holo of coral, the more it makes me think. If I've got a sister, what else have I got? Aunts? Uncles? Cousins? Maybe I've been missing family dinners for my whole life. Could be a bunch of people wondering where you are right now. Think so? Probably all torqued at me. That Mako, she never calls, she never writes. Still, I've gotta wonder, how are they connected to SIS? Something I need to figure out. You know SIS computers? <laughs> Way easier to slice than I thought. Which is sort of worrying now that I think about it. Did some poking around in a few classified Republic databases. Found my birth certificate. Well, uh, maybe. Found a dozen birth certificates, all with the gene stamp a lot like mine. I followed you up to poking. Everything after that could have been in hut ease. My family's records. It's gotta be. Parents, siblings, maybe grandparents, who knows what else. Uh, no names or dates though, just an SIS project number. 32. Have to keep looking, see what else I can find. Remember the SIS project number I found? 32? Turns out if you search for it in enough super-secret Republic databases, it gets noticed. Ran into a little, uh, trouble. Like, if I keep doing this, the chance of mysteriously disappearing goes up dramatically, sort of trouble. Doesn't sound so bad. You let that scare you off? Thought I'd ask you to test it. Maybe the billion or so agents I'll send just hand out free candy. Figure there are other, less, hazardous channels I can look into. I'll, uh, let you know if I decide to do anything stupid. Or, more likely, let you know after. Remember how I said I'd avoid SIS databases for the time being? Decided this was a good time to take a crack at the encryption on that SIS creep Carteri's datapad. The encryption is crazy. Someone threw a solid wall of credits into keeping this thing secure. Anyone goes to that much trouble to keep a secret. It's gotta be something serious. That's the scary part. I mean, I'm seriously getting the creeps now. What's my family involved in that's worth this kind of money to the Republic? You're really upset about this. I don't know if it's about my family or Brayden or just a puzzle I can't solve. It's making me crazy. Anyway, if... Thanks for listening to me, Babble. Much appreciated. SIS just throw their ciphers a party with clowns and a juggling bantha. Stupid datapad is impossible to decrypt, but not all is lost. Found a holo address for Coral, I think. I mean, it could be her. I sort of wanted you around when I called her. How could I pass this up? Go ahead when you're ready. 
Sure, because this will be fun. Sort of like flying into a black hole. Right, it's nothing to worry about. It's just a stupid call. Hello? Hi. C Coral? I it's Coral, right? I I'm Mako. Mother of... M Mako? My little sister Mako? I, I can't believe it. I thought... I thought you were dead. How did you find me? Wasn't exactly easy. I, uh, ran into an SIS guy looking for you. Isaac? The SIS agent? Was his name Isaac? Don't know if it's weirder that you're being hunted by multiple agents, or that you know them all personally. Oh no. Uh, Mako, you've gotta help me. Please. If you're gonna tell me SIS is after you, I already figured that out. Cardri's just one of the agents after me. Isaac's the one leading them. If he finds me... What? What's he want you for? I've gotta go. I I've been on this channel too long already. He's on Drum and Cost looking for me right now. If there's anything you can do to stop him. Wait, Coral, what's going on? Why is he after you? They're already trying to trace my location. I have to go, please. You're the only hope I've got. What is it with people never answering my questions? Gotta be hiding something. Oh, that was weird, wasn't it? It wasn't just me, right? She's really like me, isn't she? I really have a sister. Let's go to Drum and Koss. Sorry, did you say something? I'm... Sort of half here, not feeling so good. I keep seeing those dead girls. My sisters, I just feel queasy. Anyway, sorry, um, did you need something? I'm here if you need me. Thanks. Can you cure a massive case of being freaked out? I don't exactly know how to get over seeing myself. Two of me die. And you know the worst part? Coral didn't tell me, didn't say a word about other sisters. Definitely plenty of Makos around these days. One identical sister was sorta neat. Three is weird. Trying to kill me? Creepy. Let's get moving before I get even more weirded out. You can actually cook. You. Of course. I can't imagine you in a kitchen. Hardly ever been in a kitchen. Mostly cook in the field. Gotta have proof if you're making claims like that, Torian. Good idea. Dingilar? What's that? Guess you'll find out. What is it they say about curiosity again? Does it involve lavish paid vacations? <sighs> Maybe Trando Shawnee flat cakes? So, I may have gone back into the SIS computers. Just a little. SIS probably won't mind at all then. Seem like real understanding guys. Sure. I mean, what could go wrong? Remember how I said I found birth certificates for my family? A dozen of them? Well, I found out that ten of them also have death certificates. I know you got your hopes up. Wish it had turned out better. I'll get over it. Not like I haven't got tons of orphan experience already. I guess it's just me and Coral now. Well, on that cheery note, let's move on, huh? Got a few minutes? Maybe you could give me a few pointers on my pistol technique. Doesn't hurt to get some practice in. Won't take long, I promise. Because actually, I just wanted to show off. I've, I've got a new shot and I can't wait for you to see it. In fact, I'm sort of looking forward to seeing it in action myself. So what do you think? You're getting pretty good. Thanks. Let's move. I kind of want to shoot something now. Remember the guy Coral said was after her? Isaac, the one we were supposed to stop on Drum and Koss? Target didn't show up. Hard to forget that. Everything else is sort of dead-ended. I thought maybe I'd try to see what I could find on him. He's SIS. No surprise there. 
so there's not much to find. Except for this. He's assigned to Project 32. The same project all my relatives seem to be associated with. You should head to one of Nar Shaddaa's casinos and play that number. Probably make some credits. Right now, I feel like maybe gambling isn't a great idea. Searching for his name tripped all kinds of security, so... Don't be surprised if a lot of uniforms are looking for us. I think I might take up a new hobby for a while. A safer one, like, uh, neck suit grooming. Feel like watching my back through another scary holocall? I survived the last one, but this... might just get me. Remember that data pad we got from Carteri about a million years ago? I cracked it. I got a holo frequency from Isaac, Mr. Project 32 himself. I can't do this without you. Let's see this guy. Want to take bets on whether he's 10 meters tall and breathes fire? <laughs> right, quit stalling, Nico. What's this? Okay, before we get started, let's set something straight. My name is Mako. M-A-K-O. Got it? Call me Coral, and so help me, I will find a way to punch you through the hollow net. Mako? Well, that's a name I never thought I'd hear again. We want answers. Start talking. Believe me, I would love to talk to Mako. I got plenty of questions myself. Unfortunately for both of us, I don't have much time for conversation at the moment. I think it might be in your best interest to talk sooner rather than later. Normally, I'd agree with you on that. My team has pinpointed Coral's location. Finding her is my priority. Hey, go. A word of warning. This isn't the life you want. Whatever happens, stay away from Coral. Why? What do you want with her? What did she do? She's killed most of the people involved in Project 32. I can only assume she'll try to kill you too. She's gotten almost everyone else. You haven't given us a whole lot of reason to believe what you say. Believe what you like. I'm afraid I'm still out of time. Mako, I'll contact you if my team's taking Coral into custody. We have a lot to talk about. Isaac, out. I'm intercepting all his outgoing transmissions. Looks like, yes, I have the coordinates he's sending out. Gotta be where she's hiding. That's exactly what I was thinking. I've downloaded the coordinates to the NAV computer. Let's go pay my sister a friendly visit. Hey, sis. Long time no see, huh? Mako? What are you doing here? How did you find me? Met some of our sisters. It was real sweet. Heartwarming, you might say. How oh, about that? I should have warned you. You got an explanation. You better spit it out quick. Project 32 is trying to frame me, Mako. The others were in on it. Help me slice his computer. If I can erase my records, I can just disappear. Nobody else will get hurt. Please. I've got two words for you, Coral. Bantha Dung. You used me. You wanted Isaac dead. You wanted the other girls dead. Quit pretending to be the victim. Funny how that wasn't good enough. Oh yeah, hilarious. I might bust a gut laughing about this later. Well, Coral, you have anything else you want to say before I watch Isaac cart your sorry behind out of here? So I set you up. So what? You don't matter. Neither did the others. None of you are even real people. I'm real. You think I wanted to be part of a set? Would you want that? I'm not like the rest of you. I'm unique. You're not even a person. doesn't matter. Nothing you do matters. Even if I die here, you won't be real. You're just a cheap copy, Mako. She hammers a lot for someone who's just been totally beaten, doesn't she? What do you want to do with her? SIS can have her. She can rot for all I care. Mako? Is that you? How did... Nah, that's a stupid question. We'll take Coral from here. I guess we should thank you. Are you alright? I don't know what you guys are gonna do to her, but I have a hunch she deserves it. The stuff she said about being a copy... What do you think that was supposed to mean?
You're letting her get to you? I don't know. I feel pretty surreal right now. We're moving out. Mako, we will have to talk later. Let's get out of here, okay? I want to be as far away from this place as possible. You know what? You're okay. I'm glad to have you around, Mako. When Brayden first talked about you, I don't know what I expected, but whatever it was, you're better. What I want to say is, you're awesome, and if you were lost in the same sector, I would definitely give you directions. And if someone put a bounty on your head, I'd shoot him for you. You wouldn't collect on it first? That's really sweet of you. Alright, anyway, you get the point. Let's get back to work. <laughs>